is Charlene from the Crafty Art Shack, and we're back here today after our long Christmas break. You guys, my husband is always off at Christmas time for every year because the upholstery shops around the United States shut down because the fabric company shut down that week. So he always has that time off, and I always take that time to spend with him when he's off. So now that we're back, Let's get to the craft desk and get started. We've got an awesome project today. We're going to be making something that looks like this. So let's get to the craft desk and get started. Let's go. All right, you guys, we're here at the craft desk. And what we have is a jar that we got from the Dollar Tree. We got two of these little bowls. These are usually found over in the wedding section of the Dollar Tree. And you're going to need two of those. Um, they come in a pack, but I'm not sure how many bowls you get in a pack, but it's enough to do a couple of projects. So you're going to take the jar, you're going to get some E6000 glue, and you're going to turn one of your bowls over, and you're going to take that glue, and you're going to go all the way around the rim of this uh, bowl. <clears throat> you guys, I'm, I apologize, I'm a little hoarse today, I don't know why. Um, but you're going to take that E6000, I don't know what I'm doing there. <laughs> you guys, I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. I've been out of my craft room for the past week or so, and it's time to get back to work. So you're going to take that E6000, and you're going to go all the way around the rim. Then you're going to take, yeah, here I go. I'm going to put it on there this time, I do believe. <laughs> it's cold because it's cold in my craft room. Um, so I'm having to really work with it to get it to start. And then once I get it started, I'm just going around that little lip that's there. Now you can sand that lip off if you want to, but it's not necessary. And you're just going to dab that on all the way around. You could put a touch of hot glue in the center to give it that quick adhesive, uh, attachment, or you can just do it like this and let it sit and dry. Now, you're going to take that bowl, stack it right on top of the other one. Now you want to make sure that your rim is nice and not wobbly because um, you can get it on there kind of crooked and you don't want to do that. So that's what I'm doing here and I'm just lining it up. And then you're going to take that E6000 and you're going to put some around the rim of the lip of your jar. Now that jar came from the Dollar Tree. I'm showing you because I lost part of my footage there where I glued the, the lip on to the jar lid. So you're just going to go around that. And I'm showing you here again because I thought I lost all the video. So I'm just showing you I put glue there. And then I put glue on... the lip of the jar right there and then you're just going to take and let that dry and then once it dries you can um, get started on the next part now I don't know what I'm doing here <laughs> sorry guys I promise I'll get back in the swing of things and start doing it the right way um, I'm getting out my linen white chalk paint from Rust-Oleum uh, no, Rust-Oleum does not pay me to do this video. Nobody pays me to do these videos. I do them out of the kindness of my heart to share with you guys. And the most of all, to uh, share with my kids as well. Because they're always saying, Mom, how do you do this? How do you do that? And I'll, I'll say, go watch YouTube. Just, you'll find anything you need to know on there. And they said, but Mom, we don't want to know how YouTube does it. We want to know how you do it. <laughs> so I started making YouTube videos because with uh, four girls, it's kind of hard to get around and tell each one of them what to do and tell them all at the same time. So I decided that YouTube videos were the best way to do this. Plus, I get to share with y'all. So I'm taking my linen white chalk paint and you can take the jar off. Now, I made this this way so that... I could use this jar on my kitchen counter and be able to put stuff in it. Now, I put a coat of linen white chalk paint on the jar, and I'm going to do the top as well. And you're going to want to make sure that you put about 
I think it was about two or three coats that I put on there because um, I wanted to make sure that I had good coverage. And that black part of the lid needed more coverage than the rest of it, so I wanted it all to look the same, so I put a couple of coats on each layer. But I don't make you sit through all of that. And you're going to want to paint the bottom and the top. I guess you could leave the bottom of the jar not painted if you wanted to, but I put that on there and let it dry and then come back and put another coat on after that dries. And then I'm going to paint, you're going to paint the inside of this bowl and then you're going to paint everything on the outside of both the bowls and your lid. Now you don't want to paint the inside lid of your jar because that's not necessary. You just paint the part that's going to show. And we're going to take, and this is, this project just turned out way too cute. It turned out so cute that I think that I'm going to have to uh, keep this one for myself. I'll have to make another one that I'm going to give away to somebody else. But see, you want to make sure that once your glue has dried, you come back in here and you paint all the way into that crack and paint all of this. But you guys, um, this is a new year and while this is showing the painting that didn't get edited out, um, I want to share with y'all this year we are going to be adding a new section to our videos and it's going to be um, called, I think it's called A Little Walk with Jesus. And what we're doing is we're going to give you a scripture. Then we're going to ask you a question. And then we're going to give you a challenge. God says in his word that we are to be doing things that will help with, uh, promoting his word and his goodness and being able to give back to the his people and so that's what we're going to start focusing on this year here I think with the way the times are going and with everything that's going on uh, during the holidays I even thought about you know why am I even doing crafts sometimes but, you know, some God's blessed me with a talent to do these crafts. And so I want to be able to give back with what he's given me. And he's given me the ability to make things and come up with things and to replicate things. And so that's what I'm going to be doing this year to share my love of the Lord with you guys out there and to help encourage you each and every day and hope that you guys can encourage somebody else too as well as receiving encouragement yourself. So I guess what I'm doing here is I'm letting this thing sit and dry. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I went. Um, but I had to come back and put a couple of coats of paint on this. But let's see where we go next. Okay, you guys, I apologize for the screen being a little yellow. Um, I didn't have my bright lights on at the time, and I apologize for that. Now, what you see me doing here is I cut out on my little Cricut Joy. I cut out, I have a Cricut, I have a Cricut Explorer, a Cricut Maker, and a Cricut Joy. Um, if y'all, you guys want to know how to use them more, I'll show that in the videos. But there are a lot of good videos out there of people doing this. Now, this is some of the Dollar Tree black vinyl. And that is some of the regular contact paper. And you see, I didn't rub that down very good. So it gives me a hard time and it wants to peel that back up. Now, this is peeling off some of my paint. But because I have a rustic kitchen, I'm okay with that. And I'm pointing that out to you. And it pulls it off in these little lines, which turned out to be really cute. Makes it look really rustic like it was supposed to be that way. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that contact paper that pulled off some of the paint. Because I need the rest of the jar to look like that. And I just put it on there and let it pull some of that off. And I'll throw this piece of contact paper away. Normally I keep them, but this time I didn't 
because um, I got a lot of paint on this one. And so it just made it look rustic and I like that. And see the inside of my jar is still clean. And now I can twist my lid back on there. So see now I've not only just made a decorative piece for my kitchen, but I've made something that I could put something in and set it on my counter. Um, but also I wanted to tell you, when I was cutting out this uh, Cricut, with my Cricut Joy, this uh, paper or vinyl, I had a hard time cutting it out because I put a new blade in my Cricut Joy. And so if you're having that problem, stick back in your old blade and cut it and then it won't cut all the way through the paper. But if you're cutting out good vinyl, expensive vinyl is what I call it, then you'll want to put that new blade in because you don't want it to mess it up. Now what I'm doing is I'm cutting a piece of jute rope and I'm going to wrap it around. Now when I do this, I have to make sure that I'm only putting it on the lead so that I could still open this jar up. Because if you put it down in the crack, then you've got to make sure that it doesn't get on that jar lid. So either way, whether you want it to be in that crack or you want it to be on the jar lid, you need to make sure that your jar lid still moves freely. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a long enough piece of that jute rope again and I'm going to wrap it around the top and then I'm going to tie in a little knot. And then from there I'm going to make a bow out of a piece of jute rope just like you tie your shoestrings on your shoes. And then I'm going to cut off those extra pieces that I had up at the top and then I'm going to glue my little jute bow right in there. Now you don't have to worry about any moving parts here. So it's okay if you just glue that down. And then, uh, let me see, what am I doing next? I think I'm going to put the handles on it next. Now, um, I'm looking to see, do I want jute? Or I pulled out some pieces of leather. That's what that is right there. And I'm going to cut a piece of it. And I started to use this as my handles. And then I cut two of them. And then I decided not everybody has leather. So maybe I ought not to put that on there. Because, and if you're going to use leather, you want your little straps thin enough. So that when you bend them around, that they go on the jar just right. So... I ended up not using the leather because I wanted to use something that y'all were going to be able to use to make this project. So what I did is I took three pieces of jute rope and I tied them in a, one end at a knot. And then I just braided the rest of the rope. And then when I got to the other end of it, I made, I tied another knot. It made my little, made me some little handles. And I did two of these to match. And then I just stuck them and glued them on the jar. I'll show you in just a second. Okay, so I braided it all the way up, got to the end, and tied another knot. So I have a knot on one end and a knot on another end. And then I'm just making it into a loop like this. And I'm going to take and glue it on the side of my jar. I just put, pull it back, put my glue down, and then put it back down. Now, this is not anything that you're going to be, you're not really going to pick it up by this. This is just for looks. So you want to make sure that when you do this, that you're not picking this up by these little handles. These are just for decoration. Now, and then I'll put one on the other side. Now, if you have cold weather, like we were having a cold spell here in uh, Florida, and that glue just wanted to pop right back off. So if you need to, you might need to put some E6000 on there if it's not wanting to stay on. And I'm showing you that my little jar, the lid opens up still and everything. And for some reason, my camera decided it didn't want to focus that for a minute there. And... Again, you do not want to pick up 
these by the handles. This is, that's merely. All right, y'all, we're back from the craft desk and look at this. Isn't this just adorable? Now you can take the lid off, the screws off, and you could take it off and use this as something on your counter that maybe you keep something like, I don't know, maybe a little bit of sugar or coffee or tea bags or something that you keep out of the cabinet in this and you could put it on your counter and this would look really cute in a country kitchen. It even goes with my Coca-Cola kitchen. So you guys, I'm going to be using this one in mine. <laughs> yeah, girls, that's right. You're not getting this one. <laughs> you guys, thank you for joining us today here at the Crafty Art Shack. We've enjoyed making this little project with you and we hope that to make many more this year and we'll look forward to seeing you again. So we'll see you in the next video. We'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>